In addition to the exterior and interior aesthetic changes, based on Matt Watson's review on the CarWow YouTube channel, it was revealed that the newly refreshed Model 3 has a much quieter cabin and improved suspension system. And now we have more details about this. Lars Moravi in this new Tesla video explained a few technical details about how this was achieved, which I'd like to discuss in this video. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. As a reminder, the Model 3 just got a lot better with its recent refresh. Tesla redesigned the front of the vehicle and the headlight design, the rear of the vehicle and the taillight design, the wheel designs have slightly changed, and Tesla also changed the red paint choice and now it's called Ultra Red, and it's a slightly different color, and the dark gray color is now called Stealth Gray, it's slightly different than the previous version. These exterior designs are not only about aesthetics, but they also uh, made the Model 3 more aerodynamic, and overall, with the aerodynamic improvements of the vehicle, the Model 3, the new Model 3 actually got a range increase. Beyond the exterior changes, Tesla, of course, also made some improvements to the interior. They redesigned the door panels and the dash, where the wood accents were replaced with cloth. Of course, there's the new LED ambient lighting, the new steering wheel with the stocks removed, the upgraded front touchscreen, and the addition of a rear 8-inch touchscreen, an improved sound system, and ventilated seats, to name a few changes. Also, as was the main focus of the new Tesla video where Lars Moravi was talking about the newly refreshed Model 3, Tesla added more acoustic glass to the vehicle and made suspension improvements to the vehicle, which made the cabin quieter and gives the vehicle better handling. As a reminder, Lars Moravi is the Vice President of Vehicle Engineering at Tesla, and he was recently featured in this Tesla video that was shared by at Tesla Europe on X.com, and Lars in this video discusses improvements made to the new Model 3. Lars mentioned that this was filmed in Shanghai, China, and here are a few quotes and highlights from this video. During the latter part of this video, Lars mentioned, quote, I was a part of the engineering team that worked on the original Model 3, and to do it all over again, you can really focus on all of those things that you've learned over those six years. And to really put that back into the car makes this car really the best Model 3. It's pretty hard to believe that the Model 3 has been available to customers for six years now, roughly six years. And uh, first Model 3 deliveries happened back in 2017. Tesla, of course, has made many incremental improvements to the Model 3 over the years since it was launched, which I've discussed in past videos, and I will link to some of those below. But once again, as Lars mentioned, with the changes to the vehicle, the new Model 3 is the best version yet. Lars also mentioned that the new Model 3 was mostly developed in China by the Tesla engineering team there. However, since he said mostly, I believe that means Lars and Franz likely had a part in the engineering of this new vehicle. But it looks like a lot of the heavy work was done by the Tesla engineering team in China. It is exciting to see what the talented Tesla engineers in China were able to produce. And the new Model 3 appears to be quite an amazing vehicle. Now, once again, in this video, Lars was in Shanghai testing the new Model 3, and they were testing the stability, road noise, wind noise, and wet handling of the vehicle, and this was filmed during a rainy day. When it comes to what the goal was for the Tesla team in refreshing the Model 3, Lars mentioned, quote, the biggest thing we wanted to do was kind of increase the size under the curve of customer happiness. One of the things we did for that is we actually put the dual pane glass that we have implemented on the current Model 3 and the windshield and the front door glass into the rear door glass and the back. Tesla's acoustic glass is two layers of glass with adhesive in the middle. So it's a dual pane glass and it really has three layers because you have glass, adhesive, and glass. This once again on Tesla's vehicles was used on the front windows and the windshield. Now, as Lars mentioned, they added this acoustic glass to the rear doors and the back of the vehicle. So the vehicle now has acoustic glass throughout the cabin, which makes it quite a bit quieter when it comes to road noise. When it comes to the benefits of this, Lars added, quote, and what that does is create a cabin isolation feeling where you're the only one on the road. So even though cars are passing you by at high speeds, you don't really hear them. Now, in addition to adding more acoustic glass, Tesla also improved the suspension system of the Model 3. 
Lars specifically mentioned, quote, we've added new shock absorbing technology called frequency selective dampening, which really improves the ride while maintaining the handling. Not only is it more performant, but it's also funner to drive and rides better at the same time. I did a web search for frequency selective dampening, and when I searched this term, Kony Active Technology seemed to be the main product on the market right now, so perhaps Tesla is using their system or they've designed something in-house that is similar, but here's how this frequency selective dampening of technology is described on Kony's website. In general suspension terms, the conflict between comfort and handling can be split in two different frequency areas. For comfort with the suspension moving in a high frequency area, plus or minus 10 hertz, it is necessary for low damping forces for the vehicle to remain comfortable. For handling with the suspension moving in a low frequency area, plus or minus 1 hertz, it is necessary for high damping forces for the vehicle to remain safe and in control. Conventional dampers are unable to solve the conflict in terms of comfort and handling. However, if you are able to create a damper which can change the damping force level in relation to the frequency of the movement, you will be able to solve this conflict. Kony Active Technology does just that. Kony goes on to explain more about how this works. In standard shock absorbers, the main damping characteristic is defined by the oil flow going through the piston assembly. Combining this standard damping characteristic with the active feature, Kony added a special valve which is able to control a parallel oil flow next to the one going through the piston. This parallel oil flow is closed by the active feature, giving a rise in damping force almost linear to the time that the piston is moving in one direction. Put simply, the Kony active feature is a hydraulic amplifier that delays the buildup of pressure. One could say that an extra tuning option has been created in order to get the best possible combination of handling and comfort. This next part of Kony's description is really interesting because apparently their solution is a very simple one. Quote, since it is an integrated part of the hydraulic valve system inside the damper, no additional cables, sensors, or any other electronic devices are needed to operate a Kony active damper. In comparison with costly systems, which work on the basis of computer technology, complex electronics, and sensors, Kony Active is the simplest and most economic way to significantly improve the ride and driving characteristics of every car. With that last description about the simplicity of Kony Active's system, I think there's a strong possibility that Tesla is using their system or something similar because the Model 3 is supposed to be once again a high volume, lower priced product. And Tesla would likely want to use a very simple cost effective system in that. And while Tesla does use a lot of technology in their vehicle, if they can use a simple solution that doesn't require extra electronics and stuff, that would be key here. So this is interesting. And once again, this is a kind of technology, something similar to what Tesla is using for the newly refreshed Model 3 that greatly improves the handling and ride quality. Of course, the USA, North America, will not see this newly refreshed Model 3 until 2024. Um, but these vehicles are arriving in showrooms, for instance, in China, and they should be delivered to China and Europe very shortly. Um, and it's going to be very exciting to see more of these newly refreshed Model 3s throughout the world and to see more and more reviews. But it looks like this vehicle is a winner, and it was interesting to get Lars Moravi's take on that. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you could support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.